What's up, sons? It's Blind Drive with Son of a Tech once again, coming at you with yet another mining video. Today, we're taking a look at a mining rig frame, not to be confused with a case like something like the server case that we have also reviewed on this channel, which we'll put a link up here in the corner for you guys to go check out if you want to see another option. This particular option is the cheapest rig frame you can currently purchase, and so I figured it was probably a good idea to get you guys a review of it. The case in question is going to be the Mint Cell Spartan V2 Open Air crypto mining rig computer case frame chassis using all of the keywords there it does state that it's up to 10 gpus we'll talk about that here in a little bit and i have fully assembled now not one but two of them and gotten them up and running so i'll give you guys an idea of how easy they're they are to assemble um, and then of course just general thoughts and so on in this review without further ado let's get into it so first things first, this frame supports up to advertised as 10 GPUs, but really where you're mounting the GPUs, it supports eight. On the bottom frame or the bottom portion uh, where you mount the motherboard, it can in theory add two more GPUs onto the motherboard there with mounting screws that they have provided, but that would be, uh, pretty hard to actually do if you're familiar with any of the mining motherboards as you usually don't get two full PCI slots. And then for the ones that you do, like let's say like the ASUS PZ270 that supports up to seven GPUs, well, you only support seven GPUs on that single motherboard and you're gonna block the other PCI slots for you to move it into. So the whole up to 10 GPU thing, I question pretty heavily on that. Now the good note on this case is it does support up to two power supplies. So if you wanna do ATX form factor power supplies or even large ATX form factor power supplies and you wanna do two of them, it is supported here so you have plenty of options for power you could also split up a couple 750 watts a couple 850 watts just depending on what your rig requirements are going to be and how power hungry your cards and algos are going to be as well the other nice thing about that is that it does offer that option of being able to power those pcie risers with six pin and eight pin well six pin pcie powers because you have that extra room for that extra power supply Supply. So keep that in mind. To make this work and function perfectly with two power supplies, I would recommend getting one of the splitter cables, 24 pin CPU splitter cables. That way you're not trying to flip on or jump anything on your secondary power supply. It just makes it a lot easier for building these rigs. We've also gone over that in other videos that we'll have linked as well. Lots of info in this channel. If it is helpful, that sub button down there would be awesome. Okay, so let's talk about assembly. First of all, there are only four steps. I actually have the instruction manual right here to go over with you guys, but it's very straightforward. They have the included parts all lettered at the top, along with the screws lettered, which makes it super easy to follow. The first step is just inserting the motherboard platform A into the base of front frame B and then secure with four frame screws. And that's gonna kind of get you started. You'll start to see the case come together. And then you're going to, in step two, insert the opposite end of the motherboard platform A into the base of the rear frame C and secure with four frame screws. It's gonna be the exact same mount. From there, you're going to insert riser platform D between front frame B and rear frame C or uh, oriented as seen uh, in the image on the instructions here. So luckily everything's in English and it is uh, laid out super, super simple. Finally, attach the lower support beam E to front frame B with two frame screws uh, at F and as seen below. So that'll get you going. The assembly process went exactly as described in instructions and very, very simple. So. I was super happy with the instructions as well as the assembly of the case. Some things you wanna keep an eye out for, some downsides on this particular frame is that the sides are very sharp, so you wanna be very careful. And of course, keep out of the reach of any children in your household because they will cut themselves on it. It's very, very sharp. The other thing that might be a negative is that you are pretty much stuck with an ATX size motherboard because they are 
uh, the motherboard mounts or screws are secured uh, to the bottom of the frame so there's no rearranging them or adjusting them you want to be very careful here too because if there is a motherboard which there are some that doesn't have uh, maybe like the additional on the back side where the IO is sometimes you'll end up having like one two three four screws if it's missing one of those or it's the opposite screw and it's bumping on that I have seen in some cases where it can short the motherboard and cause instability issues so you will want to look at the motherboard uh, placement as far as for the standoff screws and just verify that that's going to be okay you have some other options right you could mount a piece of wood there and then put the place the motherboard on top of that so on and so forth that being said it's just something to keep an eye out for so those are the real two big negatives for this particular case that you want to keep in mind another note is that once you put the gpu risers right platform on top which i believe is in step three uh, it's actually harder to get to the motherboard so i would recommend between step two and step three of the assembly process going ahead and installing the motherboard and probably even the power supply or power supplies because it's going to be a little bit easier with that bracket off that gpu mounting platform and then i would put that platform on top now along the top you can run eight gpus and i have not noticed with 5700 xts needing any additional um, any additional cooling for the top and these are for third party so they're not blower coolers it works very very well and it keeps the temperatures stay down because there's a sufficient gap between each of the GPUs and it keeps the noise levels down so as opposed to something like the Rosewell server case uh, where you're mounting those in there and you need some airflow and unfortunately very much airflow those are going to be very noisy so it's a separate use case right um, these are going to take up a little bit more width a little less length than of course like a rosewell option so you know depending on how you have your mining farm structured etc uh, but if you're looking for something to get into gpu mining the price point is correct on this as well as at that point you aren't going to be looking at you know efficiency for room uh, so much uh, which this is still very efficient room wise I think that the rose wheels are obviously nice being able to rack them but that's going to be a completely separate like much larger operation than something like this or something out of your bedroom right or or living room or study or wherever you're going to place this this heat mongering ethereum hashing beast um, so Coming in at $40 uh, previously, and now the price has hiked up to about $55 on Newegg. It's still the cheapest mining rig frame you can currently purchase, and is probably the, the best option for beginners because you aren't gonna be buying your own angled frame. What it's also gonna give you an idea for is a platform to build your own angled frame cases, which means like, once you kind of get an idea of how it all goes together, you're going to have a lot better chance at building your own uh, later on down the line. Now, there are wood options, which we've covered on this channel before. There's the angled frame options, and then there's the PVC pipe options, all that you can go down to Home Depot and get all the parts for to uh, build yourself. That being said, the convenience and the price point on this particular option is very enticing because you just order it comes in comes in this little box back here that's behind me uh, very space efficient as far as storing if you aren't going to use it yet and then just assembly is easy as pie and getting it together is amazing now if you guys want a guide on how to build the whole rig from start to finish please let me know in the comment section below. We'll do that in a separate video. As you can see here, we have another one waiting. Uh, this one's waiting on a motherboard. It's gonna be a six GPU, 1063 gig rig uh, until we replace it with some 
uh, more current stuff. The plan for me is to also be getting a 2060 rig here soon because I want to be mining a little bit more Conflex, which we went over, of course, in a video here previously. I think it was last week, so you can check that out. Uh, up in the corner in the crypto playlist as well. So that's going to wrap up the review for the Mincel Spartan V2 open air crypto mining rig computer case frame chassis up to 10 GPU <laughs> for cryptocurrency blockchain Ethereum ETH Zcash Zec uh, Monero XMR GPU miners. I just figured I'd read that whole ridiculous uh, title out for you guys on Newegg. They're hitting all of the keywords. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Once again, sub, like, comment. Let me know what kind of content you want more than other types of content. Some of the content I've mentioned in this video as well as previous videos. And I will see you next Tuesday.